All right, so you got the code or error code 8002F334, and uh, you got your console bricked. The reason this happened is probably you had your PS3 jailbroken or modified, and then your uh, console was set on auto update, or you did it by mistake, and that's why your console got bricked. So today what we're gonna do is we will pull the SSD out from the PS3, and try to format it and put it back in. All right, so if you got this code, we'll move to step two. All right, so we'll try to pull the SSD out, the memory, and we'll try to format it. So it'll be a PS3. You got a little bracket here. You can put your nail to it or get a screwdriver. Pull it out, flip it. It has a Phillips screw in there. Get a small screwdriver. Unscrew it, put it aside. Slide this thingy to your left, and this comes off. And this is your SSD. You can just pull off this little clip here. And there you go. This is step two. All right, so now what you need is this piece right here. It's called SATA cable. So what it does is it basically connects to SSD, and the other end, it got a USB which you can connect it to your laptop or PC for formatting. So you basically plug this in here. And the other end to your PC. Now, if it was any other um, USB device or anything, it would pop up right away, but not with this one. So as long as you got this green and red light there, sometimes you'll be able to hear the fan as well running at the back. So as long as you get that, it's good enough. So you come over to your PC, you right click, and you go to manage. And then we're gonna wait for page to pop, there you go. Now here, you get three options, and the second one says storage. Double click on that one. Next one says, says disk management. And yes, we wanna manage the disk. Once you double click on it, this little window pops up. Let's put it on MBR master boot record all right put it on this one switch it from gpt to mbr and click ok and now you are presented with these options you got to find your ssd make sure make sure you clear the correct ssd do if you touch one of these ones you will format your pc so make sure you know which one it is and in fact i know this one because this ps3 it's around 150 gb so it's 149, it's actually 160, but anyways. So I know it's this one, I click on it, I right click, and then right top one says new sam uh, simple volume. What it will do, it will create a shortcut on your PC section. So you click, next. Do not change these numbers, don't do anything to them, just go next, keep everything next, next, and finish. And once you do that, and if we go over the PC here, we should see the icon, just like you're a USB. So now here, what do you do? Just like you formatting a USB or anything else, you right click and you format. It's basically giving you da 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 da, you're gonna basically formatting, are you sure? You start, it's giving you warning, no problem format everything so basically your ssd was corrupted and now you erased everything and now this is complete all right for next step now our job is not done if you plug that ssd back into ps3 it's empty A console imagines like computer if it has nothing to read it will not show you any page anything so now we manually have to download the latest PS3 software and put it into that SSD. How you do it? You go to Google and you type PS3 system software. I'll put the links to and you click on the first link. And voila, this is official software update from PlayStation. All right. You can get it for free. There is no tricks, no charge. And the latest update was 487. Probably you had anything below this. 
that's why your console got updated or you did it by mistake. So the latest update is 4.87 at the time of re recording. I'm not sure if there will be any other updates. I don't think so though, but for now, this is this update. So all you do is you click download. I have it already. Click download, it will start downloading. And then once the download is complete, it will look something like this. It will say ps3 updat.pup, all right? So first you create a file and you call it ps3, all capitals. Inside that file, you put another file, call it updat. Oh, this one is actually update. Uh, go in there. There you go. And now you take your uh, basically the software and you put it inside that file. We go PS3. There's our update file. And there it is PS3 updat.pup. One thing you got to make sure do not open this. Well, even if you open it, do not change anything. Do not change the spelling. Do not even change the dot. Remember, these are all coding in there. Even a dot will make a big, big difference. Do not touch anything. Just don't even open it. You don't have to do anything. Another thing you gotta make sure when you're naming these files, make sure they're all capital. It works, it runs better. Just keep it all capital and that's all it is. So it's basically a file you created, PS3, all capitals. Inside you cleared another file, called it update. And inside that file, is your uh, actual software update. All right. So now you take this file and you put it via USB. That's one way of transferring to your uh, uh, to your PlayStation. It's from USB. And now to get a USB, uh, the USB has to be formatted to FAT32. I can put a link to there are a bunch of guys who show you how to do it. And even if you don't know how to do it, it's very simple. Let me. So now that we have our file set up and ready, we no longer need the SSD to be connected to PS3. We can disconnect it. So the way you eject them, just like you eject any other device that you connect or USB, you basically, uh, where's the eject here? If it's not here, you can find it at the bottom. Oh, right here. And eject. And it should disappear, wait for it. And there we go, it's safe to remove. So we'll remove this, unclip this, and now we'll put it in our PS3. So over the PS3, flip it again, and put it in. If you don't know which way it goes, it's usually the fan facing up, but even that, if you don't know, there's a little slot, so there is no way you can put it this way. It will block you, so don't worry about that. If you want fan, the holes facing up or put it in, put the slider in and it doesn't want to go in. And there you go. Open that little portal here, put the screw in there. So all the screw it does is it basically holds your uh, SSD from sliding. So in case like if you'd be tilting your PS3 back and forth and stuff, this little piece will hold it in spot so it does not get disconnected, which will cause big, big, big problems. And that's it. We're done here. We can connect this PS3, but before we do that, we'll put that uh, software update into a USB. All right, I'll show you that back on the computer. All right, now some people might ask could I not transfer the file right away into that SSD rather than putting in USB and making the USB read through it? It's a simple step. It might work, but I've never done it. The proper step is that you do it through your PS3, uh, through USB. And even though once you connect this USB or even if you turn on your PS3, it will say you must update the software from USB. I'm not sure what it does, so we do it the way it asks. Now this USB is already formatted to FAT32. If it's not, FAT32, what it means basically, if your uh, USB device is less than 32 GB, it will work better. But if it's not, it will still work. 
So mine is right here. I'm not actually going to format it because I got some files in there, but it's nothing hard. All you go here, right click, you click format, and once on this options, you slide down there, you're gonna see three, set on FAT32. And then if you want, you can name your USB to whatever like that for PS3. And then click format. You gotta make sure once you click format, everything you have in that USB will be gone. So make sure you take all your necessary files out of it before you do this, all right? So once you format it, we will take our file that we created, the PS3, the, the, the updates and everything. We'll copy it inside here. I got a bunch of other stuff, but anyways, I'll paste it here. And once that's done, I'll show you guys at the PS3 and what we're gonna do, all right? All right, guys, so we plugged everything in. Now, um, the USB that you just put that updated system, you plug it to the furthest right one. Not the left one, the right one. I know it's a different USB. I had other files in there, so I just transferred it into other USB because I didn't want it files to get uh, corrupted or anything. So the new USB that I have, it's completely empty. It just has that, uh, that uh, software update file and nothing else. So on the left one, you can connect your controller because it will ask you to connect your controller. And on the right one, we'll plug in the USB. And now, We'll power it on. And let's see what it says. All right, now it says connect the controller. We have it connected and everything. All I'm doing is pressing the power button on controller. Now the system software cannot run correctly. Press the PS button to try to restart it. And uh, all it's saying basically, the PlayStation 3 is empty. It has nothing in the SSD card. So in order to format it or to get our files through if you keep reading it says connect the storage media that contains the update data of the version 4.68 or latest ours is 4.87 and then press the start and select button at the same time so that's what we're going to do we're going to press select and start at the same time and it's going to take us to the next screen all right that please and wait Sign sometimes takes like longer, probably like a minute or two, so we cut the video. And now for the next, uh, basically says everything will be erased. And if you want to proceed, press and hold the start and select button for five seconds. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to press and hold for five seconds. And the screen should change. The reason it's doing this, it, they want to make sure that we're aware that we're erasing everything from uh, SSD card or that we um, updating with a new version on anything. So now it's formatting. Do not turn off the system or remove the storage media. So that means do not unplug your USB. Do not unplug it from the power. If you do that, again, high chances your PS3 will be bricked. All right. And there you go. PS3 system software version 4.87, press the PS button, there we go, we clicked, and just for information, do not unplug the wire, just keep it connected at all the times, because otherwise you have to keep plugging and unplugging it, because there's so many times your console and uh, control will get disconnected, they'll lose signal, so it's better to just to keep it, uh, keep the wire connected all the time till this update is done. It says checking for updates, there we go. We're at the brand new PlayStation. Look at that. It says you purchased it December 10, 2019. Nine. Nine. <laughs> there you go. 2009. Purchased December 10, 2009. But we did not do that. But the software update, that means you bought a brand new PlayStation and you bought it in December 10, 2009. Well, actually, the next update that was done, I believe. So next, accept everything because you have no choice anyways. So press X, continue, and we're gonna go through another installation and it will restart the system. And once it's restarted, you're gonna have a brand new homepage that you have to go through to set up again.
And here we go. Brand new PlayStation, Sony. And looks like we got it through. So connect your uh, controller whenever unplugged it anyways. Select your language, do all that stuff. It's basically setting up a brand new PlayStation. That's what happened. You erased everything from the console and you erased everything from SSD. So it's a brand new PlayStation. Just say yes, or you can change it preferably. Select your time zone. You can uh, do the time now or uh, do it via internet, wherever you want. Blah, blah, blah. Next, next, next. And checking network. I have the network plugged in, so just so I could show you guys that it's running on the latest software. And yes, and okay. And there you go, guys. The PlayStation has been saved. We're on the front page. And there you go. Your PlayStation is no longer a brick.